God will give you praise. Father, we thank you tonight. We appreciate you. Blessed be thy name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our Father and our God, we appreciate you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you because you are here already in our midst. Your presence is as powerful as it is online, as it is in the actual space. And say we pray, Father, tonight that you have your way in the name of Jesus. In this meeting today, Daddy, please glorify your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your word come with power and with fire tonight in the name of Jesus. At the end, let your name be glorified. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. Blessed be thy name forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I welcome you tonight. Trusting God to bless you powerfully in the name of Jesus. You're welcome. You're welcome. I trust God your week has been awesome. Tonight, the theme of our program is making the most of your time. Making the most of your time. Time is a very powerful thing that God has given to everybody, regardless of your color, your height, even your gender. Can you please open your Bible with me tonight to the book of Ecclesiastes? Thank you, Jesus. Open with me to the book of Ecclesiastes tonight, chapter 8. Very powerful scripture I want us to look at. Ecclesiastes 8 from verse 6. And it says, because to every purpose there is time and judgments. To every purpose there is time and judgments. Therefore, the misery of man is great upon him. May the Lord bless his word in the name of Jesus. Many times we think, or we like to think we are masters over time. We even sometimes keep big clock in our various houses. Some of us wear good wrist watch when we are going to work, Apple Watch, Samsung watch and all of that. And there's nothing really, really wrong about that. In fact, these watches, they give accurate precision. They measure to the, you know, the most precise nanosecond. But with all this, beloved, the question is, do we really understand time? Do we really have an understanding of what time is? There are times when we are very much aware of time, such as when we are working on a project and we are, you know, running against a deadline. We are raising the clock, you know, fighting against time. And there are times you know, they are very wonderful. When we let go of our watches, we forget those watches somewhere and we enjoy a day of leisure and rest and we hardly notice that time is even passing. Praise the Lord. Time is so powerful. In the life of every believer or any human being, time is so powerful. Life is time. Our life is measured out of, out of time. Life is, a quality, is qualified by time. As a matter of fact, the passing of life is a passing of time. Life stops when time stops. Whatever you become beloved is a function of how you spend your time or how you use your time. In fact, time is a uniform gift that God has given to all men. The rich, the poor, the wise, the foolish, educated, uneducated, white, black, male, female, Time is one uniform thing God has given to everybody. There is the same 24 hours everybody has privilege to. It is only what we do with that time that differs. It's amazing how two different people, praise the Lord, in the same neighborhood can make such a different use of the time. Time is so powerful. Time is one of our greatest assets, beloved. If you don't know, know that today, time is one of our greatest assets in this journey. Interestingly, it is what you program into time that it gives back to you. Hmm. It is what you program into time that it gives back to you. Every time the year passes, you are basically spending time. So in real sense of it, when you spend time, you spend life. When you spend time, you spend life. The unit of every destiny or every existence is measured in time. In other words, your life is timed. I know it sounds like a bitter pill to swallow, but you need to wake up to the reality of this statement and start making the best use of your time. And I pray for somebody tonight that in the name above every other name, your life will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, your time will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, the worth of any life is in the function of the worth of his time. The worth of any life is in the function of the words of his time so you hear people say things like in his lifetime 
in our lifetime. Benjamin Franklin, say something. Do you love life? Then don't squander time. That's very powerful. Do you love life? Then do not squander time. For time is the stuff life is made of. That's very profound. And so today, I want us to look at one or two biblical principles. I want us to look at, at the same time, one episode in scripture that I really, really believe from my spirit that will help us to understand and know this thing called time. And at the same time, will help us to make the most of our time. Listen, when you make the most of your time, you make your life to count. Is somebody hearing me? When you make the most of your time, you make your life to count. Why? Because time is what life is made up of. Time is that stuff life is made of. And so life is governed by principles. The first principle I want us to look at in scripture, beloved, is a very profound scripture found in the book of Psalm 90. Please turn your Bible with me to Psalm 90 verse 12. Hallelujah. If you are just joining us, I will welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 90 verse 12. It says, Teach us to number our days, that it may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Teach us to number our days, that it may apply our hearts unto wisdom. In other words, there is something about time. There is a consciousness that comes to your heart when you have understanding of time. Good News Transition says, Teach us how short our life is, hallelujah, so that we may become wise. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Teach us how short our life is so that we may become wise. In other words, many people are living foolishly today because of the gross ignorance and unawareness of the fact that their life is so short. And so they spend time as though they can create one. There are many people today, they have no value for time. They, 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 they use time the way they like. And destiny is watching. Everyone is watching. I'll read one more translation. I love the way NLT puts it. It says, teach us to realize the brevity of life. <laughs> teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. Listen, beloved, your days on heart is numbered. Hallelujah. Your days on heart here is numbered. And what this principle means is that your stay here is timed. There is only so much hours in a day. There is only so much amount of days in a year. Time is a limited resource, beloved. And so, like many other limited resources, you need to treat it with care and make the most out of it. Listen, if you must fulfill your purpose here in this realm, you need to make good use of time. Psalm, 19, Psalm 39 verse 4 says, Show me, Lord, my life's hand and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting my life is. Hallelujah. That's a very powerful scripture. So the Bible does not leave us in the dark as to the, um, you know, critical nature and importance of time. In fact, it teaches that we view our life as a quick and briefing and as quick as passing. The Bible says so. I just read it to you. Psalm 90 verse 12. Also Psalm 39 verse 4. We should view our life as very brief and, 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 and briefly passing. And it's imperative we number our days. Why? Because the more you understand time and number your days, the more you exercise wisdom in everything you do. I pray for you. Any power sabotaging your time, let that power be wasted by fire. Let it be wasted by fire. Let it be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Any power mortgaging your time for battle and struggle, let them be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus. There's a recent article <laughs> about a new device scientists you know, are working on. And it's called Death Test Watch. They call, you know, Death Test Watch. It's very, it's very terrible. It's a watch like, you know, contraption. You wear it on your wrist. And what that watch does is it measures the vitality of the cells inside your, your body or your capillary, basically. And it tells you how much longer you have left to live. I don't know who's going to buy that kind of watch. They are really going to do a lot of marketing work to sell that kind of... Because I can't imagine wearing a watch that 
he's going to tell me when I'm going to die. He, he, many people have depression. But you see, as bad as I may seem, he's telling us something that time is of essence. Imagine asking your child, what do you want for Christmas? And he says, I want the test watch. Hallelujah. And they wrote at the end of that article, they said, um, they hope that, you know, this would help people to, to live a better and more healthy life and improve their lives. But also there's a concern that the watch may lead many to depression. Listen, beloved, I don't believe God wants anyone to, you know, morbidly walk around or blindly carrying some watch on their wrist to tell them when they are going to die. I don't believe so. He has a final say on when you are going to live anyway. But he wants you to make the best of your time. Praise the Lord. Fulfilling your destiny, beloved, requires intentionality. And it's a product of how you use your time. Understanding that your time is limited will help you to make a wise decision on how to spend the time you have left. A particular American coach by the name Vincent Thomas Lombardi, very important man in the history of American football. He was a coach in his lifetime. He says, I never lost any game. I only ran out of time. In other words, if I still have more time, anything can change. Time is of it. Listen, if you ask a dying man, what do you want? He won't say, I want real estate. Ask a dying man, what do you want? He won't say, I want a car. He will say, I need more time. Time means of essence. You heard the saying that when there is time or when there is light, there is hope. I pray for somebody today. If your amen can be loud, anything wasting your time, thereby wasting your destiny, let that thing separate from your life. Let it separate from your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every day that goes by is the passing of time. And every new day is an, is an opportunity for you to redefine your priorities. It's an opportunity to redefine your purpose. In other words, to be sure if you are still on course. Every day when you wake up to life is an opportunity to redefine your vision. It's also an opportunity to define your worthwhile goals. The fact that a goal was worth pursuing two years ago does not mean it's still worth pursuing this year. Listen, time is very, very critical. And this is because some of our goals may not be worth pursuing anymore. There, is a, there are certain goals that, you know, we do you nothing but waste your time. Anything that is truly worthwhile takes time. Is somebody hearing me? Anything that is truly worthwhile takes time. And so it's imperative we sustain a sound knowledge of how to appropriate our time. I'm praying for somebody once again. God will give you a deeper understanding. I say God will give you a deeper understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, your destiny is in faces. And it will not fulfill itself. Your destiny is in faces and it will not fulfill itself overnight. It, it won't just happen all of a sudden. It requires time. So fulfilling your destiny requires your own participatory role. And this is largely dependent on the use of time. Can I ask you, beloved, this night, how are you spending your time? How are you spending your time, beloved? Making the most of your time simply means make the best out of your life. You must have heard the saying, time waits for no man. Over true time waits for no man. Time waits for no man. I was just thinking this morning, when did we start this week? It's Friday already. Time waits for no man. And every day that goes by, we are getting older. We are not getting younger. And believe me or not, as time goes by, every human being, you are getting closer to your grave. So the question is, while you are still here, how are you making use of time? You must have heard the same time with for no man. So there comes a time in a man's life when you can't do certain things like you do them before. Most often it is due to age. So it's imperative you make the most of the time now, not tomorrow, now. When you still have the energy, when you have the power, when you have the rigor, you have the stamina, make the best out of time now. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, very quickly, beloved. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 to 2 says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant, a time to pluck what you have planted. Now, in other words, life is in phases, life is in season. The Bible says as far as the earth remains, seed time 
harvest time will never cease. So it's imperative you plant into time now so that later you can reap. Life is seasonal. What are you doing with your time now? Ask yourself, how am I spending my time? Listen, beloved, you have a purpose here on earth. Are you working in that purpose or you are just lavishing time? There's a saying in my in, in my country where I come from in Nigeria. They will say, um, you go better, you go better one day. The question is, what are you programming to time? Are you working in your purpose or you are just squandering time? But I pray for you tonight. If your amen can be loud, every power assigned to waste your time, let those all be wasted by fire. Let them be wasted by fire. Let them be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, I beg you, can you please pray this prayer louder and clear? Say, powers waging war against my time, be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power waging war against my time, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus, every power waging war against my time, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted tonight, be wasted by fire. Every power waging war against my time, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus, powers waging war against my time, I command you to be wasted. I command you to be wasted. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name we have prayed say powers controlling my time against my will die in the name of jesus powers controlling my time against my will die 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 in the mighty name of jesus every power controlling my time against my will die 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 Die, 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 die in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power controlling my time against my will. You that power. Die, 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 die in the mighty name of Jesus. Die, 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 die. Every power controlling my time against my will. Die, 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 die in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Praise the Lord. Time is very, very important, beloved. Time is very, very critical. Time is of essence. What you program into time is what time gives back to you. There are many people today, they have no idea of the power and the importance of time. All the great men we see today, they are good users of time. All the great men, all the achievers we see today, they are great users of time. People who have mastered the heart of time management, people who use their time very effectively, Listen, that you are not sleeping does not mean you are a good user of time. There are people who are not actually sleeping or lying down, but they still messed up time. There are many people hearing me tonight. After this meeting, there are friends you need to cut off. There are places you need to stop going. There are things that take your time you need to stop. Believers must learn to know when to stop. We spend time in unprofitable things. We chase after shadow. Listen, when the Bible says the wealth of the Gentiles shall be transferred, to the righteous. It's not going to give it to people who don't understand time. No. It's going to give it to men who know what they are doing with their time. Men who have mastered the fact that everything that must happen to you is a function of well use of time. It takes time to know God. It takes time to grow in the anointing. It takes time to grow as a believer. It requires time. If you are still struggling with studying your Bible at this level, when are you going to grow in God? If you still struggle to fast and pray at this time, when are you going to grow? There are believers, except the core prayer point, they can't pray on their own. You need to understand time. You need to sit down and begin to program destiny enhancing things into your time. Praise the Lord. Very quickly, please open your Bible with me to the book of Joshua chapter 13. Time will not permit me. I would have shared one more principle, but by God's grace, I'll share it in the future. The first principle that I've shared with you earlier, please don't forget principle number one, very, very key. Your time here, your stay here is timed. Your stay here on earth is timed. That's principle number one. Your days are numbered on earth. Now, open your Bible with you, please, very quickly, the book of Joshua, chapter 13. I was studying the book of Joshua about two weeks ago, or about a week and a half ago, and God gave me this inspiration from this scripture. And so, please, I want you to please. Pay attention to the scripture very, very quickly. Joshua chapter 13. Please open your Bible to Joshua chapter 13, verses 1 to 6. It says, 
Now Joshua was old and stricken in years. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there are yet remaineth very much land to be possessed. This is the land that, that are yet to be possessed, that remaineth. All the borders of the Philistine, and all the Geshuri, and from Seor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Akron, northward, which is counted to the Canaanite, five lords of the Philistines, the Gazatite, and the Ashtotite, and the Ashclonite, the Gittite, and the Akronite, also the Avite. For from the south, all of the land of the Canaanite, and the Merah, that is beside the Sidonians, unto Ephek, to the borders of the Amorites, and the land of the Giblites, and all Lebanon, towards the sun rising from Balgad, under Mount Hammon, unto the entering into Hamat, all the inhabitants of the hill country, from Lebanon unto Mesopotamia, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Verse 1 of this scripture is a, it's a verse of emphasis. And beloved, that verse is very pregnant with many meanings. Hallelujah. That verse is pregnant with meanings. Listen, there are many things God wants us to look at from this singular verse. I was studying the book of Joshua, you know, I went through different chapters. But when I got to this chapter 13, verse 1, I got stuck there and I got meditating. There are many things God wants to show us, beloved. Listen, many people will be shocked to look back 20, 30 years from now and realize they, they really did not do much with their time. They will be shocked to know that they haven't done so much with their time. I'm sure you've heard the saying, time waits for no man. But the question is, is that really, you know, is that really all that there is for this man in God? There are some of us who, who are hearing me tonight. We are good, you know, we are, we are doing well in career. We are doing well in business. Glory be to God for that. To be fair, there are some of us who are doing really well in career, doing well in business. Some of us here, you know, we are really, really doing really, really well. We are moving forward in career or business or you know in a different pursuit or endeavor but the question is is that really all that god wants for you is that really all that there is for you in god praise the lord is that really all that god has proposed for you to do or to be examine your life look at where you are now perhaps you have a mortgage or two or three glory be to god you drive a nice car perhaps even have a business and you're turning over a very good amount. The question is, is that really all that there is for you in God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that really all that there is for you in God? You are doing well in career, glory be to God. You are doing well in business, you are doing well in ministry. You have achieved. Praise the Lord. But ask yourself again, is this all that there can be for me in God? You see, the deception many times is really because of things we have achieved talking about the subject of time the deception most time is because of the things we think we have achieved we perceive ourselves to be to be better than few other of our contemporaries out there hallelujah and so we leverage on that emotional feeling to think yes we are doing well with time but have you really sat down to think is that all that they can be for me god for many of your contemporaries have not come into that experience you, you, you think after I'm better than so, 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 and so. But let me tell you, the book of 2 Corinthians 10, 12 says, For we dare not make ourselves of the number. Ha! Praise God. Listen to this. 2 Corinthians 10, 12. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. If your benchmark of success is looking at those that you are better than among your friends or among your contemporaries, the Bible says you are not wise. If because you have a mortgage or two, 
you think you are doing really really well if your benchmark is looking at people who have not got a mortgage bible says you are not wise hear me what a life no matter what you think you have achieved there is so much more in god there is so much more in god hence the reason somebody needs to cry to god tonight that father help me to make the most of my time listen the battle really sometimes is not witches and wizard the battle sometimes is not even the wickedness of our father's house but the singular act of posing a heavy ignorance on us about the poor use of time they know you are a believer they know they can't kill you they know you serve a living god but they 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 body you with every level of ignorance to poorly use your time you see believers scrolling two hours on instagram the same believer now ask him or how to pick his bible or bible 20 minutes they are yearning it is not ordinary it is satanic but i'm praying for somebody today anywhere you are hearing my voice from if your amen can be loud any power sabotaging your time let them be wasted by fire let them be wasted by fire in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you from every clutch of wicked time waster let the lord set you free let the lord set you free let the lord set you free in the name of jesus beloved time is critical time is of essence is imperative we sustain a sound knowledge of the effective use of our time here was joshua the one who took over from moses he was a he was a mighty man of valor he was mightily used of god he recovered many lands if you go and study chapter 9 10 11 12 you see how god used this man to claim so many land won so many victory you will understand what i'm talking about and the same man now bible says when he was old god said look your efficiency as far as use of time is concerned is low why he says there's still many more land to be possessed so don't be carried away with the deception of oh i'm doing well after all i have a career after i've got a mortgage yes glory be to god the bible says there is still many more land to be possessed this alone this message is a deliverance for somebody to wake up and begin to do all that God wants you to do. I pray for you. If you can say loud, amen, you will not be shortchanging destiny. I say you will not be shortchanging destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. So you must make the best use of your time. For some of us, this is your prime. Use it wisely. A time will come. You will not have the energy to run, to run around, run El Tasketa anymore. Dr. Inamdi Azikwe of blessed memory. Many people that are Nigerians on this platform today will know Dr. Inamdi Azikwe. He says, then I quote, give me back my youth and I will pay any price for it. Amazing. Give me back my youth and I will pay any price for it. Certain season, beloved, when they are gone in your life, you may never recover them back. Make the most of your time now. Make the most of your time now. Study when to study. Pray when to pray. Walk when to walk. Utilize time. Hallelujah. Utilize time to get the best out of life. Hear me, beloved. Life does not give you what you want. No. It gives you what you desire. Life does not give you what you want. Life gives you what you deserve. And anything you desire from life, program it into time. Anything you deserve or you desire in life, program it into time. It is painful to know what can be or what could be and never be. It is painful to look back and say, ah, I could have been this, I could have been that, but never be those things. I pray for somebody once again, any power keeping you in darkness, thereby wasting your time, let them be destroyed now. Let them be wasted now. In the name of Jesus. For many of us, it's not really, really about the fact that we are not serious we are zealous but the enemy has posed a very high level of ignorance upon us and they are sabotaging our time they are wasting our time one can you know it's a possibility to appear busy but not really doing too much and that's one of the deception to use time for something that is worthwhile not just to use time but for something that is worthwhile for something that is meaningful for something that is productive, for something that will enhance destiny. I pray for you once again, God will open your understanding. I say, God will open your understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. 
it's time to wake up it's time to wake up to begin to make good use of your time many believers are where they are today not because you know witches and wizards really stop them but for the wrong use of time God's plan for you is to fulfill your destiny to get to where he has proposed for you to get to but as beautiful as that is making a poor use of time can circumvent that from happening it can really shortchange you let me ask you what is your vision if you have one write it down don't just know it in your head what is your vision write it down write it out in a place then break it down to say yearly monthly weekly and daily and a lot time for each one of them make sure no day passes by without you investing time into your vision and you will see how your life will, through the help of the spirits and prayer will be transformed and you will reach your purpose time is very important it's the greatest asset anybody has when you see a man who truly understands the power of time even if he has no advantage in life if he has God and he has time you can be sure that man is going to the top you can be certain that that man is going to the top I pray for somebody hearing me any part that has kept you down on the, on the ground today they are letting you go they are releasing you now in the mighty name of Jesus I really pray for you as many hearing me tonight that are saying God what is the next thing to do how do I maximize time I pray God will open your understanding God will open your eyes to it in the name of Jesus because there are some people they are well meaning they love God they really want to do well but they are just very ignorant as to what to do I pray that God will give you direction I say God will give you direction in the mighty name of Jesus as many hearing me tonight that are treading the wrong path thereby wasting time it is very very sad the Bible says there's a way that seemed right unto a man but the end lead death to destruction hear me perception can be wrong emotion can be wrong assumption can be wrong it is sad to look back in 10 years and realize the journey you are trading is a waste of time I pray for you if your amen can be loud as many on the wrong path now let the Lord open your eyes to it in the name of Jesus let God navigate you let God redirect your step in the name of Jesus if you are hearing me now and you are wondering what can I do how do I do it I have lost time it's too late I'm old I wish I knew this 20 years ago I wish I knew this 30 years ago I have a good news for you praise the Lord as long as you are ready and willing to be diligent our God is faithful is a restorer and also a restorer of time we serve a faithful God all hope is not lost is a restorer please open your bible with me very very quickly the book of joel the book of joel chapter 2 very quickly joel 2 23 to 26 the book of joel chapter 2 from 23 to 26 it says be glad then ye children of zion and rejoice in the lord your god for he has given you the former rain moderately and it will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain. I pray for somebody. Perhaps you have enjoyed glory before, and it seems there's been no good testimony or something in your life. Let God give you the former rain, and let him give you the latter rain. In the name of Jesus, you've experienced the former rain. I pray that the latter rain will fall upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many who have seen the hand of God in the time past, but it seems nothing is happening. It seems your life is static. I decree and declare, let the latter rain fall upon your life. Let it fall upon your life. In the name of Jesus. He says, I will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month, 24. And the floors shall be full of wheat and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. That is somebody's testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. That is, you know, this day is our year of what? God's goodness and what? Abundance. And the Bible talks about wheat in the Bible. It's a symbol of abundance. That will be somebody's testimony this year in the name of Jesus. That your barn shall be full of wheat and it shall overflow with wine and oil in the name of Jesus. Now, verse 25, the verse of emphasis. 
and I will restore to you the years. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to stay very big amen to that. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. 26. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. I pray for as many hearing me tonight, if your amen can be loud, over that situation you will not be put to shame. I say you will not be put to shame. I say you will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, I decree anyone under the sound of my voice that the enemy is contending your time. Let God set you free now. Let God set you free now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare every activity of devourer over your time and your life, let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, decree is not just a mere statement. A decree is a legislation. It is the law. I am making an heavenly law and decree and legislation. I pray for you once again. Every activity of devourer of time over your life. There are many worlds who have stepped into a dimension, but are not in that dimension. Perhaps you are looking to go into university, it's, it's proving difficult, but you want to start a business, you haven't got money and time is going. Perhaps you are even trusting God for marriage, for your own spouse, maybe your own boyfriend or your own wife or, or, or whatever, or your, own, or, your, or your own husband. Perhaps you are trusting God for a good business partner. Perhaps you are even trusting God to get a good job and it's as if time is going, it's not forthcoming. I decree and declare every activity of time waster over your life. I de- tonight let it be terminated let it be terminated let it be terminated let it be terminated in the name of jesus every power mortgaging your time for battle they are taking your time and they are dishing battle into your life i speak tonight as an apostle of the living god every power mortgaging your life for battle let it be destroyed by fire let them be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus as many hearing me tonight I decree and declare, as many who is hearing me tonight, and shame is knocking upon your door. In fact, people are beginning to ask you, ah, but you are a Christian, you pray so much. Well, how is it that this is happening in your life? How come you are experiencing this? As many hearing me tonight, that something is about to happen, shame is already knocking on your door. Let God come to your rescue. Oh, let God come to your rescue. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have the goodness of somebody. You shall not be put to shame. You shall not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. If your amen can be loud, every situation embarrassing your existence. Oh, I pray for you, that brother. I pray for that sister. Every situation embarrassing your existence. Let it be terminated tonight. In the name of Jesus, every matter that is making them to say, after all, you are born again. Everything insulting your salvation. Let God bring an end to it tonight. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, What do you conspire against the Lord? The Lord shall bring an utter hand of everything. Now, whom one nine and affliction shall not rise for the second time. I pray for as many hearing me that has been under one affliction or the other and is thereby wasting your time. Tonight, let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. In the name of Jesus, every activity of the enemy over your destiny, let it stop tonight. Let it stop tonight. In the name of Jesus. God knows we are human. He knows our frail. He knows there could be situations where the time will be wasted. He knows there could be time where, for some reason, we will struggle with time and con- our friends, contemporary, will go ahead of us. There could be situations where people would need to cry to God and say, God, time is against me. Help me. Our God has created systems in the kingdom to remedy these constraints. Hence, the kingdom systems like mercy, restoration, favor, and so on. A system designed by God to fast track the testimony of many. There are many hearing me tonight because time is really, really gone. You haven't got time to start learning this principle anymore. All you need is a miracle for God to do something so quickly in your life. I pray for somebody hearing me. As many in that situation, that time is really against you, that all you need is a miracle. 
I decree and declare, receive that miracle now. No matter what the situation is, receive the miracle now. In the name of Jesus, the miracle that will remedy your wasted years, receive that miracle now. Receive that miracle now. Receive that miracle now. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, I will restore unto you the years. Listen, it didn't say the things. It said, I will restore the years. When God restored the years, every good thing that should have come with the years, with the year, every good thing that should have come with the year, that should have come, every good thing that should have achieved in, the, in those years comes automatically when the year is restored. If, for example, you have wasted time and maybe you ought to have finished university, you haven't finished or you have not even gained admission. When God restores your years, God has a way of routing situation in your life as though you never wasted time. I'm saying this to the glory of God. When I gained that admission, a lot of my friends, they were already finishing university. Hallelujah. When I gained admission to go into polytechnic, majority of my friends were rounding up university. In fact, some had begun masters. And those days were as if, oh, what is all this? But I want to give God the glory today. If I'm to line up among my colleagues, the one that will push me and say, listen, go and sit down. The person will really, really try. Why? Because there is a God that can remedy time. I pray for somebody once again. Every of your wasted time, by the hand of Jehovah, under the brevity of this scripture, let everyone restore it back. Let God restore it back. Let God restore it back. Let God restore it back. In the name of Jesus. And so God has put systems in place to remedy our situation. That no matter how bad your past has been, no matter how horrible your past has been, the integrity of God combined with His benevolence will turn things around in your life as though you never experienced those things. You see, when God restores you, I told you earlier, when God restores your years, He doesn't restore them empty. Every good thing that ought to have come with it, with those years, is restored altogether. And I pray for you, that will be your testimony tonight. In the name of Jesus, that will be your testimony tonight. In the name of Jesus, our time is fast spent. We have few prayers to pray. Maybe one or two or three and we'll round up. But I want to beg you, please, prepare to pray this prayer in your, in your heart. Because God answers prayer. Hallelujah. It's a prayer answering God. Just begin to thank Him for the word that you have sent to us today. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we appreciate you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, Father, we thank you for sending your word in season, oh God. For sending your word in season that we should know how to make the most of our time. Father, we appreciate you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Prayer point number one. We are going to shout this prayer loud and clear. Say, battle of time wasters in my life be terminated in the name of Jesus. Every battle of time wasted in my life be terminated, be terminated, be terminated in the name of Jesus. Battle of time wasters in my life be terminated, be terminated, be terminated in the name of Jesus. Battle of time wasters in my life be terminated, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated in the name of your battle of time wasters in my life. Be terminated, be terminated in the name of Jesus. Be terminated, be terminated. Every battle of time we start in my destiny. Be terminated, be terminated. Command them to be terminated in the name of Jesus. Be terminated, be terminated in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Say, repeated battles in my life scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Repeated battles in my life scatter by fire, scatter by fire scatter by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Repeated battles in my life. Scatter, 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 scatter in the name of Jesus. Be scatter now, be scatter now. Every repeated battle in my life scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Repeated problems in my life scatter by fire in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Say, situations embarrassing my existence come to an end now in the name of jesus every situation embarrassing my existence come to an end now come to an end now come to an end now in the name of jesus come to an end come to an end come to an end every situation embarrassing my existence come to an end now come to an end now come to an end now 
come to an end now in the name of jesus every situation making me to be embarrassed come to an end come to an end come to an end come to an end in the name of Jesus, come to an end now come to an end now in the mighty name of jesus come to an end now come to an end now in jesus mighty name we have prayed say powers mortgaging my time for battle and struggle die in the name of jesus every power mortgaging my time for battle and struggle die die Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus, every power mortgaging my time for battle and struggle. Die, 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 die. In the mighty name of Jesus, every power mortgaging my time for battles and struggle. Die now, die now, die now, die now, die now, die now. In the name of Jesus, die, 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 die. Every power mortgaging my time for battle and struggle. Die, 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 die. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody ought to pray this next prayer loud and clear. I beg you, pray it loud and clear. Say, powers postponing the day of my joy. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power postponing the day of my testimony. Die, 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 die in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power postponing my day of testimony. Die, 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 die. die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power postponing my day of testimony. Do that power be wasted now. Be wasted now. Be wasted now. Be wasted now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power. Postponing my day of testimony. Be wasted. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power postponing my day of testimony. Be wasted now. Be wasted now. Be wasted now. Be wasted now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody need to pray that prayer for the second time. I beg you, pray that prayer loud and clear. Say, powers postponing my day of celebration be wasted by fire in the name of your every power postponing my day of celebration be wasted be wasted be wasted be wasted be wasted be wasted in the name of jesus every power postponing my day of celebration be wasted by fire be wasted by fire be wasted by fire in the name of jesus be wasted 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 in the name of jesus every power postponing my day of celebration be wasted now 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 in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we have prayed say battle of labor without result upon my life be terminated in the name of jesus every battle of labor without result be terminated be terminated be terminated in the name of jesus every battle of labor without result be terminated be terminated be terminated in the name of jesus every battle of labor without result over my destiny be terminated be terminated be terminated be terminated in jesus mighty name we have prayed listen i told you one can actually be busy but may not really really be working oh hallelujah one my <laughs> somebody needs to pray this prayer somebody that somebody is doing something does not actually mean what he's doing is productive or is actually making the best use of time praise the lord barrenness does not only have to do with when you don't have a child barrenness is activity without productivity believe you me honestly there are many christians they are well-meaning well-intentioned they are lovers of god they are sincere they pray they fast but there's really really no result i took time some years back and i cried to god god what is the secret of power for me as far as ministry is concerned the one for me may not be the one for you can you please pray that prayer very well there are things that people will fast for we are asked only the word they need to engage to conquer that battle activity without productivity can you pray that prayer loud and clear say battle of labor without result over my life be terminated in the name of jesus battle of labor without result be terminated be terminated be terminated in the name of jesus every battle of labor without result be terminated be terminated be terminated in the name of jesus be terminated be terminated battle of labor without result over my destiny be terminated be terminated be terminated in the name of jesus be terminated be terminated be terminated in jesus mighty name we have prayed you see, our result, as far as this kingdom is concerned, has to do with a lot of um, 
illumi- the level of illumination we have, the level of light we carry over any subject matter. Praise the Lord. So it's imperative that we contend continuously for revelation and we know what we need to do. Knowing what to do is very, very important. There are people, what some people are fasting for, they really don't even need to fast. And they can be in that situation for a very long time. So much more that their ignorance can even add to the situation that devil and demons will sit upon the problem altogether. The man at the pool of Bethesda, when Jesus saw him, what do you want? He began to talk to you. You know, there's a way battle so much manipulate somebody's thinking that what do you he began to talk story began to talk to God listen Jesus the son that you the battle fighting you will make you to stay longer I won't allow that to happen stand up carry your mat and go Jesus does not answer to ambiguity he answers to a specific when he caught a blind Bartimaeus what do you want me to do the guy was very precise that I may regain my sight that I may regain, he didn't start talking story. So you can actually be praying and you may not be eating the target. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Can you pray that prayer loud and clear? Say, battles keep him in ignorance, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every battle keep him in ignorance, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every battle keep him in ignorance, to desolation scatter to desolation in the name of jesus scatter 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 every battle keep me in ignorance scatter to desolation scatter to desolation in jesus mighty name we have prayed say every of my wasted years in the name of jesus be restored in the name of jesus every of my wasted years be restored 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 in the name of jesus every of my wasted years be restored be restored be restored be restored be restored in the name of jesus my wasted years be restored 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 in the mighty name of jesus be restored be restored in jesus mighty name we have prayed say oh god arise restore my wasted years in the name of jesus oh god arise restore my wasted years restore my wasted years by your mercy oh god restore my wasted years oh god arise restore my wasted years restore my wasted years in the name of jesus oh god arise restore my wasted years restore my wasted years in the name of jesus oh god arise restore my wasted years let it be restored let it be restored let it be restored in the name of jesus let it be restored in jesus mighty name we have prayed our time is fast spent please pray the next one loud and clear say oh god arise compensate me for my wasted times in the name of jesus oh god arise compensate me for my wasted years in the name of jesus for every time i've wasted oh god arise compensate me compensate me compensate me compensate me compensate me in the name of jesus oh god arise compensate me for my wasted years compensate me for my wasted years in the name of jesus oh god arise compensate me for my wasted years in the name of jesus compensate me oh god compensate me oh god for every of my wasted years Oh God, arise, compensate me, compensate me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, Father, give me a testimony that I will remedy my wasted years. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to pray this prayer very, very well. A testimony that will make me to forget my wasted years. Ah, there's somebody that needs to pray this prayer. Oh God, give me a testimony that will make me to forget my sorrow of the past. Oh God, give me a testimony that will make me to forget my wasted time and years. Somebody needs to pray. Say, Father, give me a testimony that will make me to forget my wasted years. That will make me to forget my sorrow of the past. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, give me a testimony that will make me forget my sorrow of the past. That will make me forget my wasted years. In the name of Jesus. Give me a testimony that will remedy for my wasted years. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, give me a testimony that will remedy for my wasted years. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I remember many years ago in Nigeria, you know, I'm saying this to the glory of God. Many of my mates, like I said, went to school ahead of me, you know, they had some of them have even, were even final year 
when I was just getting admission. But then immediately I finished my ND by divine means. God connected me to Nigerian Bury and to the glory of God. Within less than two years of getting Nigerian Bury, God so much helped me. I was in Kaposa seven those days. I remember very, very well zones, zone 25. And I began to make massive sales. My name was ringing bell in the whole of Lagos State, Southwest region. And, you know, they knew me. In Nigeria, I was making massive sales. Within two years, I built my house, bought properties, and even my friend that had gone ahead of me, they were wondering, ah, how did this guy do it? Some of them were still serving when I was already using a car. I want you to pray this prayer loud and clear. Father, give me a testimony that will compensate me for my wasted years. Lord, give me a testimony that will compensate me for my first turn into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, give me a testimony that will compensate me for my wasted years in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give me a testimony that will compensate me for my wasted years in the name of Jesus. Give me a testimony that will compensate me for my wasted years in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Listen, maybe you don't understand. If, for instance, you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, and it's as though time has really gone, and God wants to answer you, He gives you triplet or quadruplet at the same time. Hallelujah. Think of God in that dimension. I want you to pray that prayer for the last time before we share the grace. Say, Oh God, arise. Give me a testimony that will compensate me for my wasted years. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Give me a testimony that will compensate me for my wasted years. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray for you in the name above every other name. For every time you have lost, let God compensate you. Let God compensate you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare every good things you have lost in time. By the mercy of God, let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. Whatsoever the enemy has taken from you, that has turned you to a non-entity, and you are trying this as though you are not doing anything at all. Every good thing they are taking from you, by the hand of the living God, recover it back recover it back recover it back in the name of Jesus you that person I pray for you I just had this again now in my spirit what they took from you when you were a very young girl they took you were, you were very young when the enemy took that thing from you I pray whatsoever they took from you whoever took it let the hand of God locate that person now and recover it back for you in the name of Jesus let God take it back for you let God take it back for you in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for you the testimony that will shock your enemies and compensate you for your wasted years receive it now receive it now in the name of Jesus thank you our heavenly father blessed be thy name forevermore in Jesus mighty name we are prayed in Jesus mighty name we are prayed amen 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 in Jesus name praise the Lord praise the living Jesus God bless you. Thank you very much for connecting with us tonight. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. We sincerely appreciate you for taking out the time to connect to us tonight. God bless you in the name of Jesus. If you are joining us for the very first time, you are welcome to World of Life Mission and Ministry Prayer Platform. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. We pray that truly you will testify in the name of Jesus. Our our vision in this ministry is universal liberation of the world through the power of the word. And this program runs every fortnightly. And as a practice, we will normally share the flyer um, as a notification ahead of the time. Please, um, if you are not on our platform, please drop your number in the chat box and then um, we can add you onto the platform so you can get a notification of our programs in the future. Lord bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. Also, please do well to do the work of an, of an evangelist by sharing um, the link to this meeting with your friends and your loved ones so that they can be a part of what um, God is doing in this commission. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you in Jesus' name. Until I see you again, remain blessed and stay safe. Can we please share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and message shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall drain the eyes of the Lord forever and ever.